everybody so i wanted to do my um video for my boxy charm unboxing um so <clears throat> i've heard good things and bad things about this month's boxy charm um so we're gonna get right into it and then i'll discuss what people were saying they didn't like and what people said that they did like um this you know if you have never heard of Box boxy charm it is a 21 dollar a month subscription box um cancel any time they give you five to six uh, full-size to deluxe size samples. Um, most of it is full-size products. That's why you're paying a little bit more each month. Um, if I sound congested in this video and I don't look too hot, it's because I'm sick. I've had to leave work the last two days early because it's just like once I'm into work and start moving around, I'm like, oh, no, it's not happening. And I generally don't call out very much, but I was like, Nope, <laughs> not today. Um, and they were nice enough to let me go. But anyways, so back into this. This is what it looks like when you open it up. You get your card. What I like about BoxyCharm is they actually tell you um, what you're getting, what it is, and the value, and if it's full size or not, and a little bit about each product. You know, it tells you on the back like that. I'm not going to look at it right now. Um, pretty much, I think everybody got the same thing this month in BoxyCharm. Um, so the first thing that I see in here is the thing that I'm going to talk about. People weren't really sure about this month. Um, this was the Mistura Beauty Solution C2P Complexion Corrector. It's a full size. It retails for $36.99. Um, this new cream to powder complexion corrector is rich with coconut oil shea butter with a silky matte finish. It leaves your skin hydrated and blemish free. The problem that people had with it is it says it's for all skin tones, but it's like, You'll see. And then all skin tones, but this is what it looks like. So <clears throat> what I gather from this is it says apply with tip fingertips for less coverage or apply directly to skin for blend maximum coverage. What I gather from this is that you put it where you need your evening out, your blemish. Um, let me see example. Um, I have one right here. Okay, so we put it on there. And then you... Kind of like any concealer. And then you put your normal foundation, your normal skin color powder over it. And it's supposed to match any skin tone. So if you are of a darker skin tone, um, that's what a lot of the ladies were worried about. They're like, you know, I have a really dark skin tone. Um, you know, and then people are of a really yellow skin tone. I'm not sure how this is going to match everybody. As what I gather from what BoxyCharm is saying is that you can put it on any blemish and it'll you know, tone it down and then you put your normal product over it. I don't know what, what, like why you wouldn't just buy a concealer that matches your skin tone and it would be the same thing. So I'm not really sure how this is any different. <clears throat> and another thing for four, almost $40 product, it, I mean, it's really not, I mean, I don't really get that. Um, but like for a $40 product, like we can get a little bit better. I don't just, I feel like this is like the cheapest $40 product I've ever seen. Um, plastic it's like I mean look this is an NYC lipstick which is like 99 cents it's the same quality product if you're gonna charge $40 for a product and people aren't sure how to use it number one number two it doesn't really deliver on the packaging I mean look at their stickers already coming off I, I wouldn't pay $40 for this. I wouldn't pay $5 for this. But, I mean, it did cover my blemish, but so does my concealer. So, I don't know. So, anyways, on to the next thing that I got in the box, which a lot of people loved. And I am I like it. I'm just not a huge nail person. This is, like, the closest to a nice nail that I'll have. And it gets ruined in five seconds at work. So, that's what, the reason why. I mean, I like nails, uh, doing nice nails. But with my job, it's almost pointless so this is really cute though this is um this is where is it on the little thing here ncla nail lacquer and heart attack this is a full-size product oh so was the mistura i don't know if i said it was full size but for 40 bucks it better be full size right so um seal it with a kiss and deluxe glitter finish um use alone or as a top coat as a cute accent nail I've seen people use this in so many different ways. I've seen people just put it on and fill the whole nail with the design or pick out and pick just the, the little, you know, one of each. It's it's really cute. It's heart um, glitter nail polish. Ooh. 
Oh, don't do it to me. Oh, there we go. Um, it is $16 for full size. So it's super cute. Has little hearts. Um, I'll put one on here and see what happens. Since Oh, look at it. I have a heart on my finger. <laughs> so super, super cute. There's my heart and my jacked up nail. <laughs> but so that that's cute. That's exciting. Um, $16. I'm not sure about this brand. So I'm assuming it's a little bit higher end brand. I wouldn't pay $16 for nail polish, but that's just me. Unless it like changed my life. But anyways, it's cute though. All right, so the next product in here is the Mullen and Sparrow Mini Facial Mask Deluxe. This is a, this is the deluxe size sample. Um, when we when they did the sneak peek, I was kind of hoping it was the bigger one because the bottle is super cute. Um, but it's looks like this, and um, it's super cute, right? So if it was bigger, it would be cuter to display. But I'll still display this. Um, a facial mask contains a blend of powerful deoxifying Clay, uh, clay is mixed with soothing aromatic herbs that help to refine pores and provide a gentle exfoliation. How to use? Mix a small amount with water and applying to moisten face. Allow to dry, uh, allow to dry before gently rinsing with warm water. So it's a powder mask that you mix in with water and it lathers, um, you know, gives you an exfoliate. So that's cute. This is a deluxe, like I said, and they're saying this retails for $15. So pretty cute though, right? All right, so the last two things that I have in here, um, this is the Modern Minerals Duo Fiber, Duo Fiber, you know when you're stuffed up and you can't get your words out, Fiber Mini Round Brush. This is a full size and it retails for $15. Um, now, a few people have said that they don't agree what they're telling you to use this for. It's a synthetic synthetic brush <clears throat> and it's very plasticky. It's, it's not a... A cheap brush by any means it's just not like you know if you're not into the synthetic I don't I don't mind synthetic brushes that's what most of my brushes are um, but the but what somebody um, Samantha that I follow on YouTube she was saying that they are lying <laughs> what they say to use it for they're telling you to use it for um, creating a smoky eye highlighting and so much more shading um, she was saying it would be a good concealer brush. Um, I would say I I could see the um, highlight that would work, but it's so like I feel like not much product would stick to this because it is so it's soft, but it is so synthetic and plasticky. That's the problem I have with some of these brushes that a lot of stuff doesn't grasp on. So um, if you have powdery stuff, but I could see this being a packer um, into the eyelid, but. I wouldn't see it as a shader brush because it is so synthetic that you would just get so much fallout from it. So that's, it's a nice brush. It's nice to add to the collection, but it's, it's, uh, $15 for full size. I have elf brushes that I like better. So, and those are like three, a dollar to three dollars. So the last but not least item, which I really is exci am excited about because this is really pretty color, um, is the Jing Eye Velvet Shine Lip Jewel. It's a full size. This retails for $22. I just, I would never spend this much money on this stuff. But, you know, that's why I do the subscription box because I could never spend this much money on these items. Um, Velvet Shine Lip Jewels give your lips a powerful dose of pigmented, where'd it go? Pigmented, long-lasting color. Formula that infused 100% natural macadamia seed oil, shea butter, and jojo, uh, jojoba. I can, jojoba. I can never say that word, and I don't know why. It's like f the same letters. Seed oil for a glamorous and hydrated pout. Um... No sharpening required because it does twist. It's just one of those chubby sticks. It's a very pretty color. I I think I'm feeling that color. It's, it looks more red in the film, but it's definitely like a pinky. Definitely like a deep reddish pink. There's definitely more pink than red. Um, I'm actually going to put this on right now for you guys. If I can get my... I only have um, some tinted lip balm on right now, but I want to be able to... Oh, I hate being sick. It's like the worst thing in the world. Uh, holy. That is much more pigmented than I thought. Um, and I'm doing this into... Holy. 
That was the sloppiest putting on lipstick I've ever done because I was not expecting it to be this. I mean, I know it's pigmented, but I did a couple swipes on my hand. Holy cow. So that's pretty cool. Um, it's not matte. I like matte stuff mostly when it comes to this kind because then I feel like it gets everywhere. Um, but it's a very pretty color. You can see it's very pigmented. Let's see with the wipe off test. So, whew. It definitely sits on your lips because my lips are stained now. Um, put back on my tinted lip balm because my lips are dying of chapness. But yeah, that was my unboxing. Um, out, uh, standout products for me is this, the lip, because that's super cool, pigmented. Um, I have to try this, but I like the bottle and the presentation. This is super cute. The brush is okay. Um, and the other item which I've already lost. No, it's right here. For me, I feel like it matches my skin tone, so I'm okay with it. Um, I mean, kind of. I, I just, it does have a powdery finish, but I feel like I have other products like this and I don't need a $36 product, which I didn't spend $36 on it, but I can see people's confusion with this product. But, um, Otherwise, this was a pretty good month. I don't see it was my favorite month. Um, I didn't get any broken products, which I know a lot of people did this month. So that's that was exciting. I'm like, please don't be broken. Because my first box ever, I had a broken product. And they were nice enough to send it to me in my next box. So that was cool. Um, but so far, BoxyCharm is one of my favorites. I also have Ipsy. So those are the two that I have stuck with and I really like. Um, yeah, so if you would like to subscribe to this box, I will post the link down below. Um, that's it. That's my video. Uh, like, share. Do whatever your heart desires. You know, I always appreciate it. Love you guys.